I was hauling some eye to the sky aluminum coils from Kentucky to California. Uh, that's what you see here. Uh, I got to about Oklahoma and the wind was catching the tarps all wrong. I didn't, wasn't happy with how I'd done it. So I'm just changing things up. I'm trying to do a little bit better job so that I can keep the freight dry and also keep the tarps from tearing apart in the wind, that kind of thing. Um, this ended up working pretty decent. I haven't been on here in YouTube for a while. I've been trying to figure out my best way to get my content out there. I've been doing a lot of videos just like this. You can see here, time-lapse type stuff of working my loads, doing my work. Um, a lot of that's been going up on TikTok. Um, it seems like I've been getting a lot more engagement on TikTok than I had been on YouTube. So I'm just sort of neglecting my YouTube channel here, but uh, I'd like to do both. Um, I'm just kind of struggling, honestly, to find the best way to format my videos or what type of content is going to resonate best with viewers over here on YouTube. So I'm all ears. If you guys have something that you're wanting to see uh, versus what I'm doing, please let me know. Um, I dropped that previous load of the coils in this video here. I'm getting um, my next load secured, which is kind of these pre-manufactured steel uh, box beams type stuff. Um, this one was a little bit tricky in that I couldn't get belly wraps, which are the um, straps that are going in between units on the middle unit or stack of the trailer. So I ended up just throwing a bunch of straps over the top of it, but uh, not too bad. This is uh, also in Northern California and uh, this load is headed out to Texas. So once I get this all strapped down and uh, we'll be headed out there. It was no tarp load, which is nice. So I secured my tarps there into that void in the middle of the trailer and then away we go. And this is me showing up uh, in the middle of the night in Texas to unload the darn thing. Um, I showed up at the customer location. They had parking available. So I went ahead and just uh, talked to a guy that worked there and he told me, you know, where I needed to be. And I just went about um, getting everything undone so that I could get unloaded first thing in the morning. Um, there's a lot of straps on this load. All, as always with me, it seems like I really like throwing straps for some strange reason. Um, but I wanted to uh, make sure to get there early so I had enough time to do this kind of thing without being in the way. That's sort of my goal every time when I'm running is, um, you know, get done what I can before someone actually shows up. A lot of times it's not possible uh, just because you need someone to sign off that the load was tarped or you want to make sure that they see certain securement things on there before you start undoing them. Um, and that just depends on, you know, the paperwork and instructions from the, comp the company that you picked it up from, all that good stuff. But most of the time, it seems like it works out this way to where if I get somewhere early, there's some things I can do to make it go a little bit quicker getting unloaded. Um, rolling straps. I know uh, many people have told me that I need to get a strap winder I recognize that I'm probably in the small minority, but for some reason, I just, I get a big thrill out of rolling these straps up by hand. It might be a little bit of, um, I don't know, sadism or however they say, maybe I just like the pain. Uh, but my forearms are getting stronger. So there's the good news there, I guess. Um, it also has something to do with the way that I throw the straps. I kind of like having a bigger hole in the middle of the strap to, to hang on to when I'm carrying them around or throwing them. and. Don't really get that with the winder uh, this here is uh, i just got unloaded from that place and my tarps were sitting way back there in that load uh, where the void was but now i'm moving those forward to get them on the front of the deck getting ready for this next load so they'll be out of the way um, people have brought up that i should uh, put them in my boxes in my trailer boxes i will say that sometimes i do put my nine footers in a trailer box but uh, this go around with this particular truck and trailer that I have, I've got my boxes full of some other stuff. So um, that's just not something I've been doing. You know, I might change that in the future. This guy here is trying to sell me some jewelry. I went ahead and sent him away. <laughs> just picking up my next load here. This is in uh, North Central Texas, maybe Northeastern Texas at this point. And uh, this load's gonna be headed back out to Southern California some some steel um, square tubing here um, 
this particular customer said no X chains front and back. Um, they're really concerned about the product. It's got special um, spec on there. They don't want any uh, tapered ends or anything like that. So not tapered, but damaged. So uh, to mitigate for that, I just decided I was just gonna throw a bunch of straps over the top of it and do a bunch of bellies in between. And I'm using an extension pole that I bought at Menards to get in between those units there. Uh, that works pretty good most of the time for me. Um, pretty pretty helpful to be able to push them through on the strap side. I don't get a big thrill out of doing my bellies by pushing the metal hook at the other end of the strap through. It seems like that just takes me longer and ends up aggravating me more. So it's nice to be able to throw the strap over the, the load and then use the extension pole to push it through. It's just a process that seems to have been working well for me. Um, this is again probably overkill um, when i posted this video over on TikTok, i got some comments that i was you know doing too much work put these straps on and that very well may be true but i've sort of always been since i've been flat bedding uh just overly cautious uh, my camera died i didn't get any footage of throwing the tarps but the tarps came out okay took a break in buckeye arizona um, I uh, long ago used to work for a company based out of Buckeye, Arizona, and uh, I had signed up for Planet Fitness while I was there. And of course, once I stopped working there, it wasn't really that relevant to me anymore. Um, but Planet Fitness wouldn't allow me to cancel my membership anywhere except for the place where I signed up, which was Buckeye, Arizona. And of course, living in the Pacific Northwest. I don't have much occasion to be in Arizona, but it just so happened that this load afforded me time to be there. So I loaded up my bicycle, um, headed over to Planet Fitness to cancel my membership after about three years or so of them stealing money from me every single month. Man, it felt really good to be liberated from the $4 Gatorade. Those guys are a bunch of thieves. Uh, no offense to anyone that uses Planet Fitness, but uh, those fitness centers, gyms, they'll really get you for the money and all that good stuff so anyways i'm just sitting on my reset now here in southern california waiting to unload in the morning um and that'll be that i'll try to get a video out again next week i'm going to try to stick to a weekly cycle from this point and that's kind of my plan for now